uh, you guys walked into Cackling Chasm, uh, decided that you were having none of it, and killed everything that moved. Um, you managed to slay all of the gnolls that were uh, kind of gathering around in the entry of this area. You also found some trinkets and a little bit of a, a little bit of cash on some backpacks that were laying on the ground with broken bones. Um, you all have a chance for a, a short rest, but it is not going to be a comfortable rest. Mm. Yeah. Any disadvantages? Let's definitely take it. Though. Say that again. So what's what's the penalty to this rest? Um, it's just you're going to be listening to maniacal laughter, and this is like literally you have like 15 minutes of um just gnolls cackling hyena laughter in the background, echoing off the chasm Awful. walls. You know that doesn't sound fun. Ah. Uh... You guys probably need hit points more than me. It's not going to help my spell slot situation. Uh, so I... Oh, I don't have any hit dice left anyway. So, um... It doesn't matter to me. I'm good after using my hit die. Good. Alright. Um, looking into the chasm... There's a 30-foot kind of descent from the room that you are currently in underneath a small overpass right here. Um, I'm going to get rid of these circles of area of effects. Which leads into the chasm, this 30-foot ledge below you. Running, I'll just kind of outline it real quick. Running along the wall. And opposite side is another ledge at... Oh, nope, that's a lower ledge. Opposite is a, another 30-foot ledge running around right there. So that is the same 30 feet lower than where you're currently standing. So this is easy enough to scale. Now... If you all step down into it, we'll reveal a little bit more about how this area works. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shove anyone down there. Sarge is definitely not going first. He has learned his lesson. <laughs> okay, who's going first? A Nouvel? Okay. Nouvel, as you step in, you see that the cackles of the hyenas, of the gnolls, uh, continues to echo across the chamber. But you notice that in one corner of this uh, chasm, there's a cage hanging from a, an icicle. Uh, and that cage contains... A what appears to be a, a humanoid, not of gnollish origin, but rather um, someone who looks to be uh, of blue-tinted skin, similar to yourself, and um, of uh, your party. Oh man! <laughs> Where is? Do you wish me to describe my character? Ah, not yet. You're, you're in a cage. <laughs> Wait, that's your character? Well tied up. Yeah. Recently captured. Ooh, but I like the art. I think we should save this guy based off the art alone. <laughs> you said. Um. um the hyenas that are lining the, the chasm walls with you, uh, they don't appear to be immediately hostile, despite your initial entry into the chasm. They are standing uh, kind of pensively looking around, um, seeing 
first they're looking to see what you do, and then they seem to be waiting for someone to arrive. Oh shit, they see you? Oh, they see you. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Nuval just stepped out like... Like, good morning. What's up, Nels? <laughs> well... I guess time to take some a steady aim, right? And pick these guys off? What are y'all gonna do? I'm just looking at... Thwarf is just looking at his badass new tattoo. <laughs> oh, yes. Thwarf, you have a, a green snake chasing its tail around your bicep, uh, um, which is going to be absorbing acid if any comes your way. A very cool tattoo. Nuval, you're in the front. What do we do? What do you do? Mm -hmm. You're muted. That would help. There's <laughs> lots of things. Can somebody less squishy uh, take the lead? Thorf? Cough, cough. As you all step out, opposite of you is another chamber where you find a larger knoll makes his way across. He looks like hey. this. Ooh. And he goes, <laughs> Trespassers. What brings you to my chasm? I see you you made more food. Uh, so For me and my horde. Uh, he's referring to you slaughtering yeah. the gnolls in the other room. Uh. Oh, shit, is there more demons out there? Yes. Well, there's gnolls. Run out there, check yeah. it out. And you see him walk yeah. over. He walks ah, shit. over to here, and he checks on Sam in the cage. And he goes, this one will provide little meat, but I'm sure it will be a delicacy. Now, mm. what business do you have before we add you to the menu? Go ahead, say somebody, somebody say something tough. <laughs> We're here on a mission of... Uh... Uh, we're here to, well, what's the word from that damn movie? Parlay. We're here to <laughs> parlay, uh, uh, some of the, uh, uh, individuals, uh, uh, that have business in this area are very, uh, not happy with the whole knoll of it all. So, <laughs> if that could no just... No holes gotta go. <laughs> no more no. No oh, more. No. Uh, is uh does, is is the is the Fang speaking Noel or what? Uh, this thing is speaking Common, okay. and he goes. Um, he's he's starting to kind of sneer at you all, um, but uh, a local resident is complained about the constant laughing, it's keeping him up at night. What are you, the cops? No. Um, no, but he's threatening my life. <laughs> what are the cops? <laughs> Noise patrol. No, no, we don't. We we don't. Uh, we we don't uh, fuck with Fibo. That that not. That's not us. Uh, okay. Um, he's. We're kind of similar in one way. He's starting to. Uh, I'm gonna roll real quick. He's starting to. Okay. He glances so, around, wow. and he, he's got this big, wide grin on. He goes, Well, boys, more meat for the table. And he, and he signals at the gnolls around him to uh, attack. Um, and he then he stands there, and he crosses his arms with a smile on his face uh, that kind of turns the confusion. 
when he looks around and sees that the other gnolls are not uh, moving, they're actually kind of looking at you and looking, they're looking between you and Chizka. They're not moving. Ch oh, the Chizka is the name of the big guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Uh, between them is the cosm, so are they... A question about my cage, if you don't mind me asking. What's that? Is it, like, suspended or on the ground? Uh, I'll say it's suspended, but it's only, like, a foot off the ground. <laughs> Is it spinning? Yeah, it would be It would be lazily spinning in the wind. Um, I would like to hold my action, then. Um, if it looks like the uh, gnolls jump to attack the party... Yeah. I would like to toss my dagger at the one knoll who's within 20 feet of me. Okay. You just got that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me All ask right. you, if if the knolls don't attack the party, but one does, what would be your mm -hmm. action? I, if it's just one knoll, specifically the boss knoll, mm -hmm. then I will reserve judgment to see how it plays out. All but. Right. If it looks like it's going to be a group battle, I'll do that action. You're going you're gonna to chill. Okay, got it. Rob, we, we, uh, we also, with uh, the local environment of the uh, monsters and various uh, beasts in the area, are trying to establish uh, a sort of baseline of uh, leadership here. Uh, uh, a sort of a, a, a union, if you will. Uh, I see that this man represents all of you. Uh, how is everyone feeling about his uh, leadership? Um, roll insight. I'm going to scoot over here. I can do that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can walk on this little bit. Like right. I can 11. walk around. Yeah, roll insight. 11. 11? Um, you see that the knoll next to you, this one right here, is is like subtly shaking its head. It very trying to hide it from this guy's view, but yeah, he's he's like, uh -uh. and he and he's kind of making like a like a twitch. Like, he's twitching his head like to, the, back to the side. He's like, he's no no. It's more like, okay, go for it, like. <laughs> okay. Take him out. Yeah. Uh, I I just with all of the with all the information we've gotten with the various uh, villagers who are having issues with uh, the gnolls in this area and uh, what we know about the disenfranchised community that is the gnoll uh, people at large. Um, we just think that maybe the decisions being made for the group are not. Uh, the the best and uh, I mean we were able to come in here and dispatch a large amount of uh, your mm. brethren without uh, without any harm that's something that a a, a strong leader would uh, 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 stop <sighs> a strong leader so, and you see him pick up the knoll next to him by the neck and he goes I am the strongest leader and then he throws the knoll into here uh, uh that's a 200 foot drop so oh. help me out with this brian how what's 20 that 20 d6 20 it, d6? yeah it's gonna be um it's 20 d6 max damage okay yeah we uh, just did this yes we did <laughs> <laughs> nice i forgot about the beholder he picks up beholder. that knoll by the neck <laughs> and tosses him to the ground, to the chasm below, and goes, I am the strongest. And he deals um, 63 damage, and this knoll is, like, uh, just impaled on a, a icicle as it goes down, and instantly killed. And you see the other hyenas in the area kind of all start, they laugh nervously and, and start hopping around and start running away. Um, while he goes, and he points across at you and goes, it's going to happen to you next. I, can I play my violin and release a spell? Um, actually, let's go ahead and roll initiative. Uh, I want to include you, Sam, on this also. Uh, All right. 
the other gnolls around you, they run into a cavern that's next to you up here. Um, but they they have no interest in getting involved. Ah. Hmm. So, I'm gonna oh, shit. add this bro. Mr. Chiska. You can keep... No, never mind. <laughs> you rolled a 17. I had a 22. <laughs> 22? Nice. Nice. Yeah, I was trying to say, you can keep mine there, because I got a 22 again. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, um, what did everyone else get? 20. What? <sighs> Hold Book to go on. Nope. Oh, 20. Ooh, 16. 16. How do I do? Good book. To you. No, you have to do slash roll 1d20. What's your monitor card? Oh, okay. My character is just really not in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm in a cage. What was that? Sorry. Sounds like a five. Yeah. For two you or Sam? Two you. Okay. Five for two you and Sam, what'd you roll? Oh, um a seven. Okay. Alright. To you, that's really low for you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Normally you're like 26, 27. Um, Nuval, you're up first. Uh, so I'm going to play my violin. It's going to sound pretty, and all of a sudden it's going to be a sharp, discordant noise as I cast Dissonant Whispers at level 2 at him. Wisdom save. Mm, or her. Okay, wisdom save. Yes. All right, let's do it. Shoot it at the thing. He rolled a nine. Uh, that's a fail. Okay. Takes 14 points of psychic damage and must use its reaction to move as far as it can away from me. Ugh. <laughs> uh, as it screams in fear. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, he is uh, can be frightened, so yes. He does that. Um, okay, Sarge, it is your turn. Uh, I want to use all of my move. What, what's this uh, null here doing? Uh, if you run past yeah. him, you can either shove him into the chasm... Or make an athletics to try and scoop past him. Or what or is he? Just like what say is he, excuse me, yeah, you know? Yeah. What is he? What is he? If, if I just run up to him, what does he say? Uh, you could. He's null. He he kind of growls and null and null, but um, he doesn't want to fight. But you would have trouble moving around him. I He's, adjust my density, make myself lighter. And jump over him. Okay. Okay. You do so. And that also increases my speed, so I can actually get there. It makes me 40 feet of movement, so I can... Okay, you do so. I think because of your spell, you don't need to roll anything. That was pretty cool. Yeah, just uh, blue energy, just like... Which is around me, and I here. go... It's 40. It's With my select, I... full movement, I can go... Uh, <laughs> uh, what's 40? What's uh, It's double movement, right? Yeah, if, I, if my movement is 40, oh. I can do... Yeah, I can go there. Okay. I can make it here. Yeah, do, th do that. Yeah, I'm like a uh, moon man jumping <laughs> across here <laughs> as I move. Oh, yeah, I can beat. It's okay. awesome. Like gravity doesn't exist. All right, I love it. Okay, I'm trying um, to get to this guy. Next up is the Noel Fang of Yenogu. Uh, so this guy's got a movement of 30 feet. He's going to 
dash similarly to how you did from here down to here and as he goes he shoves the gnolls in his way off and they fall into the chasm jeez this guy is he's just he's not good what to his you? workers um he's got uh let's see Noel can take uh each time he reduces a creature to zero hit points with a melee attack, takes a bonus to move up to half its speed and make a bite attack. So, rampage! After Hell he yeah. drops this guy down, he gets another 15 feet. He's Fuck yes. Fucking I don't even care if he's coming for me. Okay. And this guy's this guy's just happy to, like, not. Like, no. he, he's just happy to be there. Okay, now Thorf, it is your turn. Um. Hmm. Uh, I guess me and him are gonna tangle. Oh man, I gotta zoom in. Takes two to tango. Actually, actually, Rob, will you just put me uh, right next to him and walk me up there? Cause I'm on my phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hurt it with my hammer. Um, I need it'd them be, teeth. It'd be Ooh, rude not a, to. That's a, at least, uh, uh, 20 something. 18 plus. Got a hit, got a hit. Well, we need the blood of the fang, not the fangs of the fang. The fangs are pretty cool, hey, though. What? Yeah, yeah. What's blood. that, new ball? I swing my hammer. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Plus uh, seven. He takes seven bludgeoning damage. All right. Whack. Seven damage. Uh, he... No, no, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Five. Just five. <clears throat> okay, five. he takes it to the chin. But uh, he's still grinning. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ellie. Sam. It is... Oh. Yes. Good job, Bill. You made a castle. That's awesome. Okay. Sam, it is now your turn. Alright. How slippery does the floor below me look? So, do... uh, What's your vision? Do you have dark vision? No, yes, I'm, I'm an elf. I would assume so. But let me double check here for the sake of... Okay. You know. Uh... With that, with dark vision, you are able to perceive that this is approximately 100 feet is the next lowest. Uh, so you're at negative 30 feet currently. The next one is negative 100. So there's a 70 foot difference between the ledge that you're on right now and the one below it. And then the deeper one is even further. You, you're not able to see how far down that is. Okay, well, <clears throat> you said it was suspended. Is this a, is it suspended by like a rope or something like that? That's right. All right. Could I make an acrobatics check or something to try to climb up to the top of my cage and start the process of cutting the rope? But I'd like to place my body weight on the top. A little bit away from the edge, just in case. It <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, you don't even need to roll acrobatics. You're holding a. Uh, you, you hit a dagger away. You climb to the top of your cage during this distraction. There's no other gnolls nearby, so you're able to freely start cutting at the rope yeah. holding your cage. Uh, All right. All next right. turn, That's... it'll drop. Oh boy, uh, when it drops. Can I throw my body weight away from the cliff? Yes. Yeah. And I'm I'm not gonna have you right. drop unless you wanted to towards the cliff. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say I'm not gonna have your uh, your character's entrance be falling to its death. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guys, this is Sam. You're dead, Sam. Goodbye, Sam. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, I played with DMs who've done that before, that's so insane. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> That whole... I mean, little do, little do you know why Sarge is headed towards your cage. 
Um, to oh, you. hopefully my feet doesn't land on it. <laughs> to you, you are up next. I plant my feet and I steady aim and I psychic blade the uh, big guy. You don't say duck four for anything like that. It's okay. Uh, I'm a hit. <laughs> what was what that? 13. A 13 doesn't hit. Dang it. <clears throat> That's it. That's all I can do. Um, you slice a uh, icicle that's right near Dwarf's head, and it drops down into the chasm. Sorry, Dwarf. Dwarf. <laughs> I look back at you, and I'm like, you get one. <laughs> and then I look back. Nubal, you're up next. Uh, I'm going to... Uh... Okay, cool. I'm within range. Uh, I am going to uh, yell out to the thing and what's uh, yell at him. What's wrong with my music too loud for your tiny dog ears? Uh, uh, poor baby, afraid of music. <laughs> and <laughs> is that how? You, well, okay, this yeah. is, <laughs> this is mockery. Okay. Um. Wisdom save. Okay, yep. <laughs> okay. He rolls a 10. That's a fail. He okay. takes four points of psychic damage. Ouch. And he has disadvantage on the next attack roll he makes. Okay. As my well, words hit him hard. Okay, great. Um, Sarge, you are up next. Up here at the top of the chasm. I run over and I'm trying to assist... Sam in any way that I can. The the rope that he's cutting. Can I just can I just shoot that with a fireball? Yeah, dude. You launch a fireball at the rope and it towards where it's being held by an icicle and a combination of the fire hitting the rope and the icicle melting, the rope snaps brittle and the cage falls with uh Mr. Sam at the top of it, holding on to it, praying for dear life that it does not fall into the chasm. Can I uh. help? Can I try and get him out? Okay. Um, you look at the... There's a large padlock on the door of the cage. Oh my god, my kid is so loud. <laughs> yeah, she's screaming a bunch. She is screaming a bunch. It's okay. But it sounds like happy it's screaming. It's okay. It's okay. She's having fun. It's She's a baby. Um so she is uh he is there's a padlock like thick iced iron padlock on the door. I'll ask him. Uh I am assuming that you are good because they are bad and want you in a cage. Uh do can you uh can you fight and also open a padlock? I don't have any thieves tools, but yes, I could open up a padlock. Huh. Uh, herbalism kit. That's uh, that's all I got. Um, <laughs> uh, Can I have your herbs? Okay. Sprinkle some cinnamon on it. Sure. <laughs> I, I, it dissolves. I, mean, I was just going to do the firebolt thing just on the padlock, but um, sure. Back up. I, but I think I think I'm out I think I'm out of it out of stuff to do, but before I end my turn, I'm going to drop the adjust density thing on me and put it on him. Are you increasing my weight or decreasing it? Do you want to be fast or do you want to be strong? Honestly, with my build, either works. I'm gonna say maybe you can get your yourself out of there, and I'll give you like uh, if it's not like a strength check, and I'll just give you uh, light in your density so you can add ten feet to your speed. All right. Um, but you'll have uh, disadvantage on uh, strength checks and saves. Okay. Um, okay. It is now Yunogu's 
the Fang of Ninogu's turn, who uh, is dis at disadvantage and rolled a one with that. So he tries to bite you, Thor, and uh, fails. In fact, he clamps his teeth, and I'm going to go ahead and give him disadvantage on the next attack because of how bad that was. I want to like shove my shield in his mouth, like between his jaws and his mouth. It's a good thing too, because that was a nat twenty. If he had advantage, however, he rolled with an eight. Uh, or yeah, eight is is what he had. So the third attack is a twenty-two to hit. So. He bites you. He misses. He misses so bad, he clamps his teeth, which gives him a little bit of shock, giving him disadvantage on the next attack, which is an eight to hit. He misses. But the third attack, his third claw, hits with 22. Cool. Uh, this is only going to be a 1d8. It's just a little claw, but that's seven damage. The Knoll is All right. pissed that his slew of attacks were just completely ineffective. Um, it is now your turn. Hold on, let me get hurt real quick. Um, get hurt. Yeah, we're, uh, we're fighting. I'm going to attack him back. All right. Oh, 12, uh, 15 hit. You swing for a whack, so, it hits. 15. Alright. T8 plus uh, 4 damage. Okay. And he is not dead, but uh, um, is that your turn? Um. Oh, well, well, since you asked, let me see if I got him. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. All right. Sam, you're up. You um, are currently inside of a cage, but it is a fairly open... You know what I mean? It's got pretty wide bars, so if you want to do something between the bars, you could. But... I very well could. Um, a quick question, though, when it comes to uh, how you DM, are you okay with the rule of cool? To a degree. Depends. All right. What are you gonna, trying to this do? This is gonna be awesome. If uh, let's see. Um, he, I, I see a picture of a Velda Ken, but like, how alien does he look? Of of your your guy. Of the character. Uh, no, of the character next to me. Oh yeah, he's he's alien, dude. Oh okay. As he said himself, he is alien. Yeah. Like he came from a spaceship. Yeah. Yeah. My spell book is an iPad. Basically, it's a tablet. I'm, I'm an alien. I, I was half expecting Spelljammer stuff. Um, all right. I uh, if he lets me, I won't. I'm not trying to sleight of hand this, and I won't. And I will stop if he refuses. I will attempt to take the herbalism kit as an item manipulation if I can. Okay. Um, I I think he would. Would you let him? I think. You could just I mean, I give it to him. Haven't you... used. I haven't used it at all, <laughs> and I'm okay with him having. I. Just, I was more confused than anything. <laughs> just like even like if I'm I trying to it, save you, why do you want this bag of herbs? Yeah, yeah, I would like look down. If if I notice it, I would just look down. Like, okay, weird here's, choice. Here's but some right. cardamom and. Uh... Yep. Great. You have yeah, an herbalism yeah. kit, and you haven't been making healing potions during our downtime? I don't have medicine. I don't know how to... <laughs> we just need to have proficiency in herbalism know. kit. Like, I don't know what you and can do. And an herbalism kit. I, I really? could poison I you as quickly that. as I could heal you. I don't... Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna retcon that and say, he has a herbalism kit, and he's used it on alien plants. He doesn't know this shit here. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> he's like... Yeah, like um, your yeah, trees are yeah, fucking can, weird. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to try and stop you from taking it. Yeah, good. Okay, I will. Um, rules is written for artificers to cast spells. They need to do so through a tool, and it doesn't specify the tool. So what I'm going to flavor it as 
is I briefly rifle through the plants, find ones that channel a uh, cult like evocation magic very well, like uh, kind of smash it up into a ball in my fist mm -hmm. and cast a ray of frost on the lock. And then I'll let uh, my uh, new companion know. All right, follow, follow it up with a firebolt. Hopefully, the rapid change in temperature uh, breaks uh, makes the metal brittle and breaks. Uh, is a is a ray of frost an ray attack? Frost. Yes, it is an action. Okay, just roll attack. On it, and then roll uh, roll attack and damage. Uh, let's see. Um, where do I roll? I'm sorry. I, ooh, what the? Give me a bit. Do I roll? In the server? Either or is fine. Uh, you can roll in roll 20. Um, there's a like little roll icon, dice icon on the left. Oh, just 1d20? Yep, oh. yep, yep, yep. yep. You can also click on your character sheet for Ray of Frost and it'll roll it for you. I rolled an 18. Okay, okay. Roll damage. Um. Uh, no. Oh, sorry, one moment. Oh, just explanation point? I don't know why I'm messing this up. Two. Two? And I reduce the lock's movement speed by 10 feet if that's relevant. <laughs> okay. Um, the, the lock freezes over. It seems to be damaged, but it is not broken. Um, it's got a, basically a health of 10. It's got an AC of 10. If you can beat it, smash it, hit it, whatever. It's got 8 health remaining. More or less. So, um... Is that your turn? Yep. Alright, to you. You're up. Okay, I can hear you, but it's very faint. Oh, okay, I said screw steady aim. I'm gonna attack with uh, psychic blades. Do it. First one, 16 to hit. That hits. And that'll uh, be with eight. a sneak attack as well. Yeah. You had advantage, right? So that's uh, 14 total damage. How much? 14. Okay. And then I'm going to attack with my other psychic blade. That's 15 to hit. That hits. And 4 damage. Alright. He still stands. Wow. But uh, he's he's definitely, you can tell he's, he's bleeding from the mouth and, and just kind of drooling blood. Uh, Numel, you're up. Uh, I'm going to continue my taunting of the Knoll and yell, The Fang of Inogu is all bark and no bite. Wouldn't the Inogu be so sad to see you now? Dude, you're getting... Wisdom save. You're getting personal about these things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, dude. <laughs> okay. okay. I know he's trying to kill us, but harsh, dude. Yeah. 14. Aw. Uh, that barely seems... No, I'm into it. You know who. <laughs> he didn't take that one. He probably got result reserved and angry at the name. Yeah, he, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, you don't know me, bro. Um, Sarge, you are up. Uh, Sarge is going to do a uh, take his lead from uh, this fellow here and do a firebolt on the uh on the lock okay uh that's an 11 to hit that hits roll damage it's got eight health Ooh, just six. Ooh, it's, it is just barely hanging on one more hit and you can tell it'll it'll just pop right off okay um okay it is now the you know goods uh thing so um Rather than attacking, he's going to take a different approach. Uh, he's going to attempt to grapple you, um, Thor. Fuck you. And I guess we're going to be doing a strength uh, contest. Uh, 
you you do athletics and I do acrobatics or athletics, but I'm doing athletics. Okay. That's a twenty. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he rolled a thirteen. So he attempts to grapple you, and he's going and he tries to push you into the chasm. He's trying to shove you sideways, um, but he you manage to wrestle out of his grip. Back off, bud. Um, with that, though, he is going to attempt to run past you, taking the attack of opportunity from you. And he's going to run up to uh, to you. Does he need well, to I make gotta... like an ath- acrobatics text to get by him, since it's such a narrow area? Yeah, I'll do that. Rolled a 17. I got a 19 hit. I mean, uh, 18 hit. 18 hit hits. Ooh, that's 8 damage. And he takes that hit as he runs towards to you and goes, I'm gonna eat this one first. Crazy yeah. bastard! And uh, I think that's gonna be his turn. He's gonna... He'll, he'll figure out what he's gonna do next turn. Dwarf, it is now your turn. Hey, I'm coming for him. real. <laughs> you chase after him. Um, I'm gonna reveal that area. Um, what does he look like uh, health wise? Is he beaten up pretty good? He's uh, he, he's it looks like there's some bone sticking out of his leg. Um, he's got. Uh, nails are torn off. There's um, blood pouring out of his mouth, uh, and he's coughing, right, okay. but he's still swinging and attacking. All right, a little too alive. I don't like his. Uh, I don't like his tactics. Trying to get by me, so mm-hmm. I'm gonna uh, bash the warhammer on my shield. All right, charge it up with right. some radiant damage to make a ranged spell attack against him. Oh, that's <laughs> just ten. Ten misses. No. You get a little too close, a little too... He ducks and dodges out of your attack range. Sam, you are up. I'm going to... Since the lock seems to be very brittle and about to break, I'm going to just take my dagger and attempt to, like, smack it uh, smack it like an ice pick off. Yeah, yeah. Pistol whip it. Um, yeah. One moment, let me get to... Let me, like, grabbing the blade and trying to bash it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, wait, no, I don't think that's good. <laughs> you, you may not want to... Oh, oh. 12 to hit. <laughs> okay, uh... 10 to hit. Uh, well, 12 to hit. Yeah, yep, that hits. Uh, yeah, okay. And it pops off. I'm not even, don't even bother rolling damage. It pops off. Okay. Um. All right. You were free to now that um, do I have any idea where the the gnolls may have dragged my equipment? Yeah. Um. You recall them and uh, taking your equipment to this area over here. And I'm trying um, to find. And you also recall you... that there's probably a group of gnoll kind of shivering and hiding in this space up here. I can't take that on by myself. But I'll, uh... I'm I'm still affected by the density change, right? Yeah, you got 10 uh, 10 extra feet of movement and disadvantage on strength saving. Strength checks and saving throws. Okay. I'll, um... And you can jump uh, twice as far. Freaking gnolls. Hold on, guys. One second. I know. No, that's good ambience. Yeah. Bad dog. All right. I'd like to use all my movement to get closer to where the uh, boss fight is happening. But I would like to... If... No, it would be an action to hide, not a bonus action. So I can't do that. But, uh... 
Oh, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm saying I'm not, hence why I can't. But, just to cover my basis, I will sprinkle some incense from the herbalism kit that I'm making liberal use of <laughs> and cast Sanctuary on myself. Yeah, that that that'll be my turn. Just move up closer, sanctuary. Hello. I'm waiting for Rob to get back. Oh. Yeah. Oops, that's What's on your me. Move? What? No, you're good. What's your movement? Uh, should be. Uh, what? How much movement do you use? I think with the plus ten movement speed. But let me double check. What does the density thing do? Double it or? No, it just adds plus ten. 10. Oh, yeah, okay. no. I still have thirty. Quick question: Does that apply to my swim speed? Not that that's relevant in this circumstance, but thought I'd not ask. I wouldn't think so in the water, but that's probably the thing. Yeah, sorry about that. It, uh, yeah, it doesn't I really cover. I don't know enough about. I don't know enough about gravity to say yes or no on that one. I mean, a, uh, you would float to a the location top, scout so. who wanted to use my house as a drug den um, to film a show. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, like, it needs yeah. to be 1980s interior. Does your interior match the exterior? And I was like, ow. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, it needs, look, it needs to look like it's set in Detroit. Okay. It does Wait, it match well. the stage? I love it. Thanks. But, uh,. Yeah, um, after breaking the lock with the dagger, I'm going to sprinkle some incense from my herbalism kit to uh, cast Sanctuary on myself, and I'll use my full movement to get as close as possible to the null boss fight going on over there. Cool. Oh, I can? Oh, okay. Oh, this show was going to be uh, produced by 50 Cent, alongside Randy Huggins. Oh, can I move diagonal? Thanks. All right. Seven, eight. Okay, there we go. And that'll be my turn. Cool. Okay, next up we got to you. You have a uh, large knoll who is uh, wanting to eat you standing next to you. Yeah, I'm going to disengage as a bonus action. Hmm. Cut him up. I'm going to move. 20. Back to here, and then I'm gonna shoot him with psychic blade. All right. Get some range. Oh, wait. Doesn't isn't disengage an action? I guess you're using a bonus. Not for rogues. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Or goblins. Longest last in D and D. That's a twenty to hit. That hits. And that's. Hold on. For psychic damage and then sneak attack. Six, so ten total. And he still stands. He has this blood rage in his eyes. And you see him get almost more excited as he's on the last step of life, essentially. Uh, Nuval, you're up next, though. Uh, I'm going to say he's a little too close for comfort, and I'm going to let out a discordant note again, playing all the strings really harshly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and cast mm -hmm. dissonant whispers. Okay. So, wisdom seed. He's going to do that, and uh, it's going to be a low roll. Seven. <laughs> 16 points of psychic damage, and he's got to use his reaction to get as far away from me as possible. And with that, you see him suddenly grab his head, and he howls as he kind of stumbles a little to the left, a little to the right, and he takes one step wrong, and you see him oh, fuck. suddenly tumble down. No way. Can I try to grab him before he does? Uh, Yeah, 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 if you want. Um, yeah, we need that fang. Yeah, go ahead, grab him. Roll, uh, roll side of hand with advantage. 
Hmm. Okay. I don't hear anything, though. Seven. So, eleven. Eleven. With that, you manage to... I'll switch off mining. ...hang on to one paw of his leg. Um, you're gonna need to make a strength saving throw. A strength throw to pull him up. Otherwise, you're just hanging on to him. He is dead. Oh, cool. Alright, well then, uh, do I, I'll do that on my turn. Okay, uh, Sarge, is your turn. And actually, you all are now out of combat, since there's no other hostile enemies about. You see across the cavern, across the chasm, um, you see Thwarf hanging on to the limp body of Chizka um, as he hangs over the ledge of the chasm. I think we need his head, so we might yeah. want to hit him. I'm going to run over to help. Okay. Strength save with advantage, right? W yeah, with advantage. Cool. Uh, 17 plus 1, 18. Okay, you pull him up and manage to, with the help of two of you, pull him to the side and bring him over to off the ledge. Yes. Another head for the wall. <laughs> well, this was my mess, so I guess I'll take the head off of him as I pull out a tiny dagger because I don't really have a lot of weapons. Okay, it takes a lot of cutting and sawing. <laughs> and Sam, of... while this is happening, you want to talk to these people to try and get your stuff back. <clears throat> um, um, yes, uh, but before I enter that room by myself without armor and only a dagger, <laughs> oh, no, I, 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 I... Which is basically the same oh. as what you just said. <laughs> my... My character just... Like, my character just met you? Like, he's... Yeah. Going to con like he's desperate, but he's gonna confirm with you first before doing anything. So one moment. Oh wait, you're over there. It's your turn. Bad. We're out of combat. We are out of turn. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll I'll go up and I'll be like, I do need to get my stuff back. Do you have my back if I go in there? Uh, sure. Uh, you seem like someone who needs help. We are in the business of. Helping people and what good? Oh, there's a lot of them in there. Um, uh, uh, you, well, first, you say you're in the business of helping. I equip, I assume, for a fee. Hmm? Oh, yes. Uh, what's that? God, what is that thing? Do we hear all saying? this? Cash rules everything around me. Yes. Yes. Uh, dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Let's, uh, uh, let's get that cash. Uh, I'll, I'll signal to everybody else. Uh, this guy. I'm not the richest person around. Would uh, three gold pieces be satisfactory? I know you Sarge, deserve What are you it. doing over there? Are you charging that man to save him? <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Give it back. Did... What? No. Sarge, I don't ex we don't extort people. I Sarge. Wasn't what I was. I saved him. I helped him for free. And that was. Are you okay? Is he. He offered. Uh, Sir, sir, are you okay? So you guys aren't mercenaries? I spent my eyes in confusion. No, no. I'm a reporter. We're, we're a lot of things, fella. You know, Covered in we don't blood. like to pigeonhole ourselves. <laughs> I Very... was a herbalist back home, apparently. I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only recognize half the plants in here. Uh, what pla are you from, like, an outer plane or something? Yeah, uh, most of my time was in the astral, uh, uh, uh was in the astral sea, but I'm from a planet. Wait, you know about other planets? I said planes, not planets. Well, yes. Yeah, like, uh, hey guys, can we, can we maybe like chat on the way back? We got the head, and I think it might need to still be warm or bleeding or something. Who knows? I need guys. my armor. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's, 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 uh, let's. Let's go uh, get your armor. They, they'll probably be fine with it since we toppled yeah, their, get your uh, armor. their dictator. All right. uh, I will hey. enter the room. <clears throat> you walk in. Uh, they look up the... What's up? 
I w- I'm here to collect my stuff, and I'll be on my way. Are we clear? Uh, yeah. Did you take care of Jiska? Yes. Are we clear? All right, man. We're cool. Hold on, Very hold well. On. And you see one. He, he puts his hand up, and he looks at you, and he goes, "Okay, you're good." And he, he waves you in. All right, I will go collect my stuff. Uh, assuming like I don't get backstabbed or anything, like, like I, uh, when you step, when when you step in, uh, Sarge, as you try to step in behind him, uh, the Knoll steps in front of you and puts his hand on your chest. And he goes, <laughs> "Hold up, bro. Ocular pat down." What? I'm with him. Oh, jeez. Okay. He goes. Okay, you're cool. And he steps aside. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry, just, All right. that was... Sorry, the instinct from Atlanta bars. <laughs> okay, you're All right, stuff. so... Is there, um... <clears throat> I assume all my stuff is there, so yeah. I just go ahead and that back to my... Your starting equipment is received. Um, I need to check something real quick about what... Uh, Mr. Chiska had on his person. He's now one less ahead. He's a one less ahead. I was just thinking that. Just thinking. One less ahead. I kind of want to make an ashtray out of his hand. <clears throat> okay. <Ooh>. Um, <laughs> oh. 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 Hey, right. So, if you all, but- I'm gonna just kind of jump in and say if you all head into Chizka's cave which is right here before exiting the area mm. to you I'll, I'll, I'll exit out, uh, I'll check out the room after I put on my uh, armor it looks like to you has taken the initiative uh, painted in blood on the walls of this 8 foot high cave are pictographs of a towering monster with sharp teeth that wields what looked to be a three headed flail packs of hyenas oh, feed shit. on the corpses in its wake a small fire cackles near the uh, crackles near the south wall, filling the cave with smoke. <laughs> Cooking above the, sm- the fire is a small green fish, while behind the fire, leaning against the south wall, is a blood-encrusted spear and a fishing pole. Uh, the cave is littered Ow! with d- dirty pieces of cloth and moldy hides, all taken from prey. The spear leaning against the south wall uh, has a silver tip stained red with blood. And, um, and that's it. There's a uh, a fishing pole as well. Alright, I take the fishing pole and the spear. Ooh, okay. Does this mean we can the mini game now? Um, and uh, also, a there's a blood stained bolt of cloth that has been folded around a pile of coins the gnolls lifted from their victims, make, creating a makeshift bundle that holds 21 gold pieces, 56 silver pieces, mm-hmm. and 117 copper pieces. Hell yeah. Can you repeat that again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 21 gold, 56 Come silver, on. 117 copper. To you. Roll Arcana. Yes. Great, my strong suit. Uh, 16. Okay, that's great. Um, you're, you're holding these two items in your hand, and... What's funny is, you're like, you're like, this is a special spear, I bet, and no, no, it's not the spear, and you're like, okay, no, it's the fishing pole. This, there's something like magical about the, fish, and you're looking at, it, you're like, no, it's not the fishing pole. It's actually, oh. you look closer. The hook on the fishing pole appears to be of magical nature. You have received an item called the. Hook of Fisher's Delight. Hmm. Cool. So you can play the fishing game. The no, Hook of Fisher's Delight, shoes. which it's winter. No, I'm going to also um, put this stuff in there real quick. Oh, yeah. In the descriptions and notes. So basically, you can kind of. Um, Catch fish magically. Conjuring awesome. fish. Awesome. 
Um, you can even use the fish to attack people with, if you wish. Huh, <laughs> rhyme. I, I hate myself. Um, yeah. Ooh. You can also... Uh, a fish that squirms free, sprout wings, follows you around, and sings a beautiful tune in Aquan, which I guess um, Nuval would be able to understand. It can breathe air and has a flying speed of 30 feet. It's it's amazing. So it turns any fish into, it catches into the big mouth uh, singing bass? Yeah, except it flies and follows you around. Oh, so even worse. Mm -hmm. Worst <laughs> thing that's already bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's another I one. Uh, I'm getting flashbacks. Uh, you can throw one fish up to 120 feet. Um, and that creature must su succeed on a DC 15 strength saving throw or be knocked prone by being hit with a fish. Wow. Fun stuff. Um, you have a magical the golden one the best one. item. Be happy. Uh, let's see what else. You all. <laughs> you have your items. You. There. And that's. Uh. Appears to be. All that you can find within this area. Awesome. Let's go fishing. Well. Uh. 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 Sam. Uh. Well, thank you for. Uh. I assumed you were going to be helping us. Um, uh, uh, you are free. Uh, you're welcome. I didn't say thank you yet. I but know, it's just yes. I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, but also, uh, this is uh, a harsh wilderness. Uh, how did you? Uh, how did you get captured by the gnolls? character kind of has this thousand yard stare for like a solid 20 seconds going Ooh, you dropped out um, oh sorry can you hear me yeah the audio is cutting now out. i can't all right my, my character in response kind of has like a solid 20 seconds of like a thousand yard stare for going a uh, personal business i'm very lost Mm. Mm. Cryptic. I like it. But you, I assume you guys might help me get back to civilization of a sorts. Eventually we can. But before <laughs> that, uh, we're going to another place. Which, um, we could always use some more help with... Um, I'm going to tell him... I'm going to tell him to... what? What? We're going to <laughs> We're going on a journey. So no. we'll get you to civilization. Just one more stop. Yeah, there's some there's some bad things. Uh an uh, area like this. The same thing we did here. Heard about a bad thing. Going to stop it. Uh we're going to do the same thing, but in another area. So very vague, but I guess that would be my best shot. Um, none, none of you would happen to have a tinker's tools on you, I guess. But by the way, his armor does look very weird. It, it's scale mail, but it looks like it's scale mail worn over another piece of like armor framework, and it just looks wrong, as if he's like wearing loose flesh on top of our but it's still like hard right it's not like it's armor yeah no it's not okay I, I, I use that analogy for how it looks not how it is it's still scale man okay okay um do you all exit the chasm Yes, I have the head of the fang wrapped up in my cloak, so now I am cloakless and my shirt is covered in blood. Fantastic. Who's as are right? as are parts of my hair. Badass. That's a that's Badass. a fantastic visual. Newell is very sad right now. Huh? 
I, I do ask the party, though, if they have spare of any of the following tools. Cryptographer tools, coke utensils, navigator tools, thieves tools, tankers tools, vehicles, land, vehicles, water, or wood carver's tools. Wait, water? Yeah, I can drive a boat. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm a marine. That's my background. Yeah. We, I got a hammer. We have a sled. I have a well, I guess I come with a vehicle of land, so sure, I guess I can technically drive a sled. Chocobo. Oh, also, you have uh, two chocobos now. Mm-hmm. I have two what? Axe beaks. You have Ooh. two axe you beaks. You are that they have, said. Uh, one, what, what are their names? Rosie and. Joseph. Rosie. Oh. All right. Um, so that has come to fruition. I'm trying to find a, a fun image of it, and it is ridiculous what chocobos look like. But um, okay, they're so cute. I, I've seen a chocobo before. Yeah, so they are. The, the axe beaks have one visual, but these are basically chocobos at this point. So uh, you are currently at this point here, cackling chasm. You have completely uh, annihilated the threat of the, or the annoyance of the gnolls, and are continuing. So they're not even laughing anymore. Yeah, they're they they are not. There's no more laughter. <laughs> the uh, influence of Yinogu on this area has also kind of um, abated. So cool. It's not quite as uh, desecrate. However, do some like uh, prayers, some just, uh, you know, just, I don't know, flavorful prayers uh, and, and uh, ritual kind of stuff for mm-hmm. Buffett. Just, you know, burn some sage or whatever, you know. Yeah, so you all arrived here around noon of uh, the 28th of Hammer. And so uh, this only took about an hour to, uh, mm. to go through, um, basically raiding the chasm uh if you all wish you can make your way to wherever um you want to go at this point i'll show sam on the map where we are and where we're headed it's off to the berserkers right yeah we gotta head around the mountain this way um 16 miles uh... um you guys seem to know this immediate land better. I can help with basic survival. Um, you guys have an appropriate amount of rations, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, been rations. A, it's been a, a real wild big fishing pole. Month. Yeah, it's been a wild month. Yeah, we have a fishing pole, but I don't think we're seeing water on the way to the berserk. Actually, actually, this looks like a river oh. yeah, that we might actually that. need to cross. <clears throat> oh yeah. Um. Well, let's get going, right? Or unless y'all want to. So thirty-two, rest 16, first? sixteen miles. Um, you now have five people. Hours. You have. But can three of us be on the three of us be on the sled and two, and like a one person on each chocobo? I think so. I think so. Right. Hold on tight, guys. So for this day. For the end of this day, uh, you can make four hours, four miles, and then you'll need another two days to get there by noon of the three days from now. Okay. Um, as you all make your way here, at the end of this first day, um, four miles away, Can I can I try something to help Sam out? Yeah. While we're doing this, we got some like old technology, some like scraps of old technology from the 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 people we're trying to save me from. Yeah. Uh, and I have obviously my my tech from my home world, like the pad that I've been using, and like various. I feel like the herbalism kit is very alien and has some kind of tech. Can I use 
can I combine some of those, some of the tech that I have and the tech we found, and make him a tinkerer's kit? Or some kind of, like, tool set that he doesn't have to, like, keep scrounging for stuff? Yeah. Go ahead and um, roll a... Uh, roll intelligence with your character, and this is going to be taking some of the materials that you got from the Verbeeg, if you recall, which were pieces of the Crash Nautilid, and you're going to be attempting to uh, basically cast Mend on them in a manner that would create a kind of uh, technological tool set. Can, uh, can he... Can Sam be giving me the help action? Absolutely. Uh, with Sam's help on so, the side, you could have advantage doing so. In in universe, though, my character will say I'm um, this uh, technology a little bit beyond me. I'm afraid that my parents were the more uh, technological. I just simply borrowed, but I will I, do my. I, I saw what you did with my herbalism kit. That was very. Resource that was very resourceful, and uh, if you can adapt to that tech, then I feel like you can adapt to uh, uh, the the other tech that we've acquired is uh, primitive compared to my own. So if you can t adapt to mine, you can adapt to anything. And so this uh, is kind of happening around. You all have set up camp in a small uh, ford. This area has a, a small little valley. There's a little stream running alongside of your campsite. Um, so if you want to do a quick fish, you could. I'll have a quick fish. <laughs> yes. Fishing time. Okay. Well, yes. Yeah, so let's jump in the water and catch a fish. All right. Everyone's got fishing. A... Go ahead and I got a 19. Fish. 22. Everyone's, everyone's fishing, huh? Okay. Uh, everyone gets a fish, which will be one ration. However, Miss to you uses the hook of Fisher's delight and receives. Ooh. You rolled a what? Oh, let me roll it. Eleven. Okay. Um. It's the throwing fish. Oh. I think. I'll I'll make the general offer to cook or prep anyone's fish if they're interested. You roll a single uh, a fish uh, that can provide one ration as well. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, if you wish to use it as also... a weapon, it could also be the yellow with black stripes fish. Once removed from the hook, this awful tasting fish can be thrown up to 120 feet, targeting a creature the thrower can see, if you wish. Or you can try and eat it. You can eat it, but it tastes awful. This is such a I'd rather throw this fish item. than eat it. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll keep it for throwing. You're gonna, you're gonna hang on to it. Eat is better used as a weapon. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. In which case, uh, that is the case. Who is? Um, you're all sitting around a campfire. Who is? What? Are, what's? Who's keeping watch? What's the uh, order? I'll do second watch. I'm knowing that watches are going to be a thing. I'm not going to bother this first night, but I'm going to start like prepping in the morning an alarm spell instead of sanctuary. Okay. <clears throat> um, as you all kind of settle in around the campfire, uh. Let's see. First watch is Nuval. Uh huh. Okay. Um, you all can have a chat. Nothing seems to happen during this point of time, so uh, the night passes. Uh, if you guys want to kind of discuss today's events or discuss m more in depth about who you are, feel free. And then who no, has... I was just going to complain about the cloak being covered in blood and how many prestidigitation spells he's going to have to cast to clean it. Plus that head <laughs> is like, that is a big head. I'm... He's been casting prestidigitation to get all the blood off of him, and it, he just feels dirty still. <laughs> I, can, I can use mending, but uh, I don't think it's... I don't know. 
We'll just stitch it together. I don't think it'll get rid of the sinew. I'll um, I'll be quietly cooking my meal, <laughs> just like <laughs> listening in on the party, but not you know like talking much. I must ask. Okay. Could could I roll to cook? Uh, you cook <laughs> fine. Uh, well, let's see how well you cook. Yeah, roll roll to cook. Yeah, um, since, I, since I have proficiency in uh, cooking utensils, could I add my proficiency bonus to, I'm assuming, a wisdom or con roll? Yeah, this is more just to see how well you cook it. I'm not going to say that it will have any mechanical difference at this point, but go for it. All right. 13. All right, it's not bad. Um, it could use some salt. Better than all those cookies we keep getting. Yeah, the cookies are horrible. Oh, <laughs> Who's got second shift? Uh, I have second shift. What's your passive? Passive is... 15. All right. We made a map. Ooh. This isn't good. Two. As everyone kind of lays down... Uh, with second shift, everyone except to you is asleep. To you, go ahead and place your character. Oh, uh, everyone, one, I guess. Guys, wake up! We're in a map. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of I not guess... fair in a way because I'm like. <laughs> I guess it'd be by the fire. If that makes sense. It does. Yeah, there. And everyone else, go ahead and place your characters. Uh. Okay, grab your go to your name on the. One moment. Just click and drag it. <laughs> oh, just just fucking yeah. Drag it. <laughs> your name. The name. Oh, the literal name. Yes. Okay. Just fucking drag it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, to you, you're sitting around the fire. It's dark out, and everyone else is asleep. You hear um, what sounds like a single rock falling from uh, a, a cavern wall nearby. I don't investigate. You investigate? Yeah. Stealthily. Alright, All right, roll stealth. Ooh, stealth suit. Uh, let's check. 26. 26? Yes. Rogues. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I can. I, I don't, okay. <laughs> no, you can't. All right, you um. <clears throat> you uh suddenly you step away from the fire and suddenly disappear. Um. Outside of the firelight. However. Um, you, the source of the sound is coming from, uh, over down here. Oh. <clears throat> hmm. Now I'm going to wake people up. Or get up. Okay, um, <laughs> I want you to roll in, in order to stay hidden and wake people up um you're, you're gonna need to roll Whew. actually the people that you wake up are gonna have to roll stealth for like performance yeah performance do you wake up first? Hand or something how do you whisper what's the whisper skill <laughs> i i come in now <laughs> yeah that movie shit yeah <laughs> Um, <clears throat> okay, roll uh, because you're covering their mouths. Roll they they will roll uh, stealth with advantage as you wake each person up. That 
that's a three, and that's eleven. I assume I'm not sleeping in, right? Right. For purposes of stealth, because I actually have expertise in stealth, and I would not. I'd be rolling a disadvantage if I were in my armor. You have trance as well, so you. Uh, I'm sleeping in my armor, and I'm not putting it on. Up. To do this I don't stuff. wear armor. Uh, Thorf. I. As you yeah, wake I'm up. 11. Okay. It's just loud enough that y y you're just barely not quiet enough. And you hear <clears throat> outside of your tent. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, to you. What is it? What is it? <laughs> That's I'd basically like what happens. You hear outside of your tent suddenly. Um, what sounds like paws, large, heavy paws, suddenly land around your tent. <clears throat> As land. three crag cats suddenly leap down from the uh, area above you. And they begin to... Um, I'll say that you, you both are inside the tent and they are sniffing around the edges of the tent. Kitty! No! No! Yeah. I see the cat. I see the cat outside the tent. I'm... Oh, I see my eyes get big. <laughs> to be fair, what, are, what are our chocobos doing at this time? Are they sleeping somewhere? Mm, and not noticing? That's a good question. Animals? I actually don't have axe beak things set up. I will say that they are roosting over yeah, they sleep. here. Uh, I need okay. to get some Axe Beak stuff set up for that purpose. Over where you said? Over over next to your character. Um, kind okay. of against the wall. Let's see if I got one. Axe Beak, Axe Beak, Axe Beak. <clears throat> Here, I'll just, I'll just drop them in. I just wonder if they were alerted or in danger or anything like that. Um, I'm going to say oh, that they are not... Jump on them currently alerted they are Sneaky not very out. smart animals <laughs> okay man they're, they're basically like dodo birds kind of okay That's... or they're chickens it's rude to be that accurate they could be chicken dodo bird <laughs> animals when i see when i see the cat i start uh like rooting around in my bag and my stuff <laughs> uh looking for like a ration of fish Oh, I have the fish. <laughs> oh god. Um, you see them um no, crawling isn't... at your tent. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, and I, I walk I, I go out there to him. The second you the say kitty kitty kitty, they attack. They do what? They attack you. Um so Oh they don't like that. Bad kitty! <laughs> <laughs> They pounce. Um, it is That's so cute. <sighs> okay. Um, they're going to claw, or you're going to get one bite at you, um, and that's going to be a uh, oh, a failure, complete one. Uh, it. Mm. Do you have the fish around you? Yeah, I got the fish out, and I was trying to give it to them. Okay, it. Um, it knocks the fish out of your hand and completely just turns around and starts eating the fish and like running around with the fish in its mouth. Hell yeah! Okay. Um, with that, the oh, other so the other okay. ones are going to make a perception check to not chase after the fish, and they both fail. Uh, those two chase after the fish, carrying one, and they climb up a mountain side here. Dwarf is just smiling. He he pulls a blanket back over him and just like tucks himself in, smiling, closing his eyes, go back to sleep. Um, wow, he was the right one to wake up. Okay. And that's the end of that encounter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys see what my you guys see what my screen name is here, right? On roll twenty. <laughs> Cat Lord. Not for nothing. <laughs> not for nothing. I was not expect. Fuck it, whatever. Okay. Uh, end of encounter. Random so, encounter. Lord, of the so night. did we? So did we get to level four? 
<laughs> oh, hey, yes. Actually, you were correct. You did get to level four. I forgot to mention that. Yes. With the completion of the last quest of area, um, you all are now level four. So I don't this... know what you want me to believe, but it's the completion of this quest. It's the <laughs> that, that fish is what you fed some cats. Congratulations, four. level up. Four fish at the cat, and it ran away. And the other cat followed it. Oh, that's what it is. Hell yeah! It and definitely level. gives me a plus two to wisdom. That's that's my epiphany. I am cat lord. He leveled uh, up. All right. So yeah. Well, uh, what should I improve? I'm gonna flavor my level up as finally repairing the armor. Hey, so it's at the 90 minute mark. Let's go ahead and take a break, and um, I'm also gonna cool. Uh, take five minutes. I'm gonna get level a up while we break. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea.